How's it going everyone? My name is System Z and today I'm wearing armor. Let's let's try that again. How's it going everyone? My name is System Z and today we are going to be doing more landscaping. I know, I know, I know, I know. You're probably tired of it, but don't worry. This is probably the last video for a while anyways where we'll be doing general landscaping. But we have one more thing to prepare for before I can really continue on and start building the actual town. And speaking of that, I've got some really cool designs and I'm really excited to start it. So don't worry, next episode is definitely going to be a house building episode. The design I have is so cool. But anyways, anyways, that's not today. Let's talk about today. So we're going to be building a waterfall. And I think that a lot of you are going to be interested in this because I've been getting a lot of waterfall requests over the past few months. And hopefully this will you know, provide to those people. <laughs> it's not necessarily going to be a tutorial, but it's it's going to be something close. So I want to have a waterfall here, a general stream going through with a little bit of curvature leading onto a little lake that's going to be over here. I'm probably going to do the lake off camera because I don't know what I want to do for it yet. And that's a lot of stuff to do. <laughs> that's that's going to take a long time just to make a lake. Um, but yeah, I'll definitely try and show you guys the outcome in this video. But it, it just really depends. <laughs> but today we're going to work on a general stream and uh, lead it over here and just close it off as well as a waterfall. So let's go ahead and prepare for that. I'm going to go get my inventory all set up and put this awesome stuff back on. And uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys in just a moment. All right, we are all set up and ready to go, even though it doesn't look like it in our hot bar, but we do have some stuff in here. A little bit of a weird placement, I don't know why. Uh, I did have it neatly organized, but I guess not now. Uh, not a lot to work with right off the bat, but this is, uh, this is fine. This should get us where we need to be. The sun is coming up, so we have a full day to work, and of course I have an iron shovel, because with sand, that is the perfect thing. <laughs> So I guess the first thing I'd really like to do is figure out like uh, kind of a center place to work with. Now, now the thing is, is I don't know what I'm going to do with all this yet. I'm going to have to work out, you know, and clean this out, which I'll do, but not this second. I'd like to start kind of working on the general design. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to create this little three by three hole. Now, this used to be a crater and I filled it in so it might look a little weird. Uh, and there might be holes here and there, but I'll fix them as I go. Just don't mind that. Uh, but yeah, so let's kind of work out a general design here. I'm going to work out about a rough shape, just kind of a little bit of a length away. Not really much. Uh, just, just something to work with and kind of build the design. So just something like this that we can eventually carry all the way. And obviously I'm not going to just follow this pattern, but <laughs> it's something good that we can work with. So what I'd like to do is have the water about three and two different blocks across. So what I, I guess what we'll do to start, and there's some gold right off the bat, I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. What we'll do off the bat is go ahead and mine out these three blocks. Let me turn off auto jump. It keeps resetting every time I switch profiles and that's like the worst thing ever. Auto jump is great, but terrible at the same time. I don't like to use it, <laughs> especially when I'm building. It's okay when you're just running around, but not when building. <laughs> so let's go ahead and kind of carve out another block just right off on the edges. And this is kind of going to come where we have the design in. That, that was the worst sentence I've ever said. <laughs> this is where the design we have in mind is going to come in. So what I'd like to do is kind of make it look a little buried, just a very small amount buried. And you know what I actually need to do first? I need to figure out if this is an okay water level. So 62 is what I'm thinking. Uh, 62 is where we're going to need to have the water. So yeah, that should work if 62. Yeah. Okay, cool. So water is going to be at about that level, which is perfectly fine with me. So coming back over here, you'll notice that I just have some general you know, one block down steps that kind of lead down to where the water's going to be. That is totally not where we're going to leave it. What I'd like to do is incorporate sandstone slabs and kind of mess it up a little bit and just make it look sunken in, not necessarily just by one block, but just kind of smooth slowly down in. Like the sand is all kind of hardened and created this slope, but not in a very ugly way. This is actually really, really... Eh, not that bad, actually. Once we add in these, it'll look a little bit better. 
Uh, but I, I do have a general idea for this design, and I mean, that's that's pretty much it. But I don't have just the perfect, like, you know, explanation of how I'm going to do things yet. <laughs> so bear with me if that even made sense. But this is kind of the idea. And then, of course, we'll add, add in some of the grass on the side here and there. Uh, but just make this all the way across. And I actually do want to go and fill this in. And I don't know if there's going to be just an open gap underneath it, but hey... If there is, we can just fill it in. <laughs> Anyways, while I do this, I'd like to kind of talk about something that I'm sure a lot of you are curious to, you know, hear me speak about. So, I don't know if you missed it, but today, earlier today, this is going to be a later video, I uploaded a different type of video, something I'd never really done before and was totally an awesome experience. Uh, so, I guess you guys probably already know what it is. I had the very fortunate opportunity to participate in Hermitcraft UHC 11. And trust me, I am about as excited as you guys are. <laughs> I, that, seriously, Wells Knight presented that opportunity with me, and it, it was probably the most fun experience I've ever had in terms of Minecraft and just having any sort of collaboration. I have never collabed on that level of just being able to play with so many different YouTubers and great personalities and even, you know, battle. Like, it was seriously one of the most fun things I've ever done. And UHC is definitely not a foreign concept to me. It's definitely not a foreign concept. I've seen it, I've done it a few times, but never on that level uh, and, you know, such hype around it. Like, <laughs> so many people follow the Hermitcraft UHC, so it's really cool to participate in that. Even I have watched those series. And, you know, there, there were a few non-hermits in there. Me, Anasia, and I think Stress Monster. Cube Hamster, I believe, used to be a hermit. Uh, but I'm going to get some water so I can fill this in. But, yeah, so that was definitely an experience. <laughs> uh, it was really cool to be able to call myself a hermit just temporarily. And you guys know that it, it was kind of weird timing, honestly. And me and Wells actually talked about this. Uh, <laughs> basically, you know, I released the last LP episode was me saying I'm not joining the Hermitcraft server, or at least not that I'm refusing. I just, I don't have an opportunity. Like, no one's ever asked me. I, you know, I can't just get on that server. Like, just addressing comments. And right after I talk about that, I'm in a Hermitcraft UHC. That's probably the weirdest thing ever, but so funny. It's it's seriously so awesome though. Like I, the fact that I had that opportunity, I mean I I don't know, man. <laughs> it was really fun, and I I cannot stop smiling about the whole thing. Just because I've, I mean I've watched you know the Hermitcraft guys for a while. I, I've followed a lot of them in terms of their YouTube careers and. Uh, I definitely look up to a lot of them, and it's really cool to say that I've, you know, been able to, I was able to play with those people. Uh, so, yeah, <laughs> really cool experience. Thank you, Wells. And everyone, go to Wells. Go to Wells' channel. I mean, I'm sure you watch his videos anyways, but go to his channel and let him know that I said thank you. Uh, I told him anyways, but just, you know, no, you guys tell him thank you. <laughs> tell him thank you that you were able to, you know, experience that on this channel and all that kind of stuff. It's It, it would not have happened without him. So, yeah. Uh, but I don't really have too much else to talk about in terms of that. <laughs> it was just, seriously, one of the best experiences ever. And honestly, it made me really wish I was a hermit and could do that stuff regularly. But I'm definitely not saying it's not possible. Who knows what the future holds? Whether it be, you know, on the Hermitcraft server or another server, just being able to ex experience that, you know, and, like, that community was just nice. What am I doing? I don't need to keep running back and forth for water. We can easily just use a infinite stream. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm just trying to fill this in just so we can kind of see what it looks like. I know this is a very small example, but don't worry, don't worry. I do have plans. So is that where it is? Yes. Okay, so now I can just kind of fill this in as we go. But yeah, so let me know what you guys think of that. Uh, we, I'm pretty much going to have videos coming out every other day uh, for the next few weeks, or not few weeks, next few days of Hermitcraft UHC. It was a really fun experience, really fun battle, and uh, I definitely, definitely want to do it again. I don't know if I'll ever get the opportunity, but if I do, I would very much do it in a heartbeat. <laughs> I think I'm going to add in these little random pieces as well that kind of poke out just to give it that life and character. Now, I don't really have any tips for building, you know, nice rivers uh, or streams, but pretty much just follow a very rough design because it's not going to be clean. In fact, 
streams always change because the land is breaking up around it. So it's it's definitely a weird, you know, shape. But anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get working on this and we'll kind of continue back and hopefully start on the waterfall. But I'm going to get this kind of carved out and bring it all the way over to the lake area. And uh, yes, I'll see you guys in just a moment. I don't think you guys know how sad I am right now. <laughs> uh, so let me explain something. <laughs> Every time I do those camera shots that you just saw, I always have a secondary character filming it, right? Uh, and what I do is I open the world to LAN and set it to creative mode. That way that it can fly around. And in the process, what happens is whenever I save the world, it always saves that inventory. It doesn't save both characters. So what I usually do is I'll clear the cameraman's inventory and then put all of my stuff in a chest whenever I'm done. That way when I load the world up again, I have all my stuff. Unfortunately, I forgot the boots. So now... <laughs> I don't remember what boots I had, but now I have bland diamond boots. So that is very unfortunate. And what I'll do is I'll just enchant them soon. I don't have enough XP, as you can tell right now, but I will soon. And there is an enchantment table back there, and we will do that. Uh, actually, real quick, I still haven't gotten any help, but I'm in peaceful mode. And the reason why is because every time I go to normal mode, zombie pigmen come pouring out of this. Not even joking, like literally pouring out like a glass. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, like they're everywhere. So I don't like that because they're always running around the world. So I just, I put it on peaceful to stop that, but I don't like playing on peaceful. So uh, if you guys, if, when I'm not in the area, I don't do that. But when I'm over here, I do. If you guys have any tips, please let me know. But as you can see, we've got it all built now. Uh, the water is extending all the way over here. Obviously this is not done yet. So we will not be adding this. Oh, it adds, like, it's only perfect level with that water. So it's going to be natural. Yes, I'm so excited. <laughs> so what are we going to be doing next? The waterfall, as I said. So this is going to be right here. This is the waterfall that I'm working on. As you can see, it's very rough right now. I've been carving it out. And uh, this is generally where it will be, though. So that's what we're going to work on now. <laughs> and through the process of making this, I actually got a lot more goods so I'm very excited now but I'm gonna go ahead and make a little bit more sandstone because I do definitely want more sandstone not too much though I'll just make about that much there so this is gonna be a very weird process because I've never made a waterfall in one of these types of biomes <laughs> uh, but what I'd like to do is carve it out of this area here and it will be like hmm where's the center oh no please don't tell me I just made a like too wide center Whatever, this will be the perfect center. I can just fix it up later. But yeah, so this is going to be main, like the main part of the waterfall. And then when we go up here, which I should have dirt. I do not have dirt. I'll have to use, I'll just use sand. That'll be easier. But uh, yeah, so let's go up here. Let's get a little bit of these slabs and make a scaffolding. So now we can get up. Uh, well, not really because we can't just jump up here. <laughs> but so this is going to be like the main shape. And then it's going to pour over into there. And then I'm going to have another floor or level here. So it's going to kind of spill over. And that's those are the waterfalls I like the most. Now what we're going to do next is kind of carve this out just a little bit so it smoothens up. That way it's not just a rough, you know, ugly, like, shape. And then we're going to try and make our way up there as well and make a little cave. Not really a cave, but just somewhere where the water would be spilling out of. Uh, and I'm not really going to do anything out of this. Maybe put some gold in it, but, like, not much. Uh, because the point is that it's coming from, like, a cave. Actually, maybe we could connect it up to the actual cave system and maybe, like, actually give it, like, a stream going through the caves. That could be pretty cool. 
some underground, like, behind-the-scenes work there. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we'll do that. That'd be pretty nifty. But, yeah, so I'm just going to cut out just a general shape, and I'm going to go through on my own time and add this because this isn't as important as just the general waterfall. So, for now, this is all we're going to be looking at. And then, again, on my own time, I'll do that. So let's carve out a little bit more just so it's a clean, nice shape that we're working with and we can get a nice view of what we're going to be making. This is always one of my favorite steps is just to slowly carve things out because it's really easy to do, but it, it does take time. The next thing I'm going to do is make it so that the water is not spilling out evenly. Uh, that's the next most important part of making a waterfall is tearing it up, making it look like it's broken and that the water is just spilling over in different angles and just you know, all over the place. Just like down here, I'm going to add a little level there and then one there. That way it's not even at all. And then we're going to fill this in. Or not fill this in, just kind of cut it out for now. That way, eventually, whenever we come back to it, it'll be clean. So, actually, I think all of this should probably be the uh, orange clay. That way it's even. So let's do that. And then I think that, and I'm pretty sure that was open. There we go. And then we'll fill, nope, never mind, that was supposed to be open. <laughs> so now we have this shape here, which is a little bit better. It looks a little bit cleaner and a little bit more, not clean, but a little bit more messy. So it actually kind of makes a little bit more sense. So I'm going to tear this one up a little bit as well. Now I don't want the water spilling over onto this side, or at least I don't think I do. Another thing I'm noticing is that this is extremely weird, but now we're starting to see something. Yeah, this is looking a lot better. So what I'm going to do next is go up there and go ahead and add in one little thing of water and try and carve out a waterfall design. Now this is going to be really weird because I've never showed you guys this on camera. Now carving out a waterfall doesn't really necessarily mean just breaking blocks. You have to place water in ways that creates a nice shape. So as you can see, this is spilling over really nicely. Now, if I just added another one, it probably wouldn't do as good of a job. And I'll do that just as an example, just to see what it looks like. Try and get over here. So something like this, and then obviously kind of connect it all up. Oh, please tell me I'm going to better do that. <laughs> I guess not. But, oh well, it's fine. So if we come over here, it kind of works, but it's still a little bit weird. So what we can do to fix that is just kind of carve it by placing blocks here and there and kind of adding more little areas of water. And I'm going to go ahead and make a little... Uh, fountain, or not a fountain, like an automatic, or an infinity source, I guess we'll call it. So just put one there. There we go. Now I can have, or maybe not. <laughs> huh. I did not know it did that. But anyways, uh, yeah. So now, for example, we can take this away. That way, if we did do that, and then remove this, and uh, I guess temporarily block that off. Unfortunately, you have to reset it every time you do it. <laughs> but yeah, if you do that, and then we'll get that in there. Then it's a little bit lower, and then we can, of course, do that to bring it one out if we wanted. And it looks like it actually stays permanent, so that's good. And uh, I think what I'd like to do is add in some on the sides as well, but not in a normal way. This is looking a little too standard. So I'm going to get to work on a little shape, and I will actually sleep as well. <laughs> but I'll be right back whenever I have something cool. All right, all right, all right, we have... <laughs> <laughs> have you guys have you guys seen that video? Now anyways, um yeah. <laughs> We've got a waterfall now and uh I'm happy with it. It looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. If I do say so myself, it's pretty much just a tricky process doing this. I mean, it's just you got to find little secret hidden places to put water sources so that it all flows a way that you want it. And that's kind of what I mean by carve the water. It's not like necessarily a surfing term or anything, but just kind of find a shape that you like. Yet I'm still finding things I do not like. Like, look at that. That piece right there is getting on my nerves. And what you can do to fix that, if I'll just come over here and grab some of this coarse dirt, is uh, I'm pretty sure if you... <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> if you put a block there, then it kind of smooths it out. Yeah, look at that. Cool, so that just got rid of that little problem. I might go a little bit lower eventually. But anyways, what are we doing now? Unfortunately, we do not have time to finish out the lake. I did not realize the video is already, you know, 18 minutes long or around that. So, and that being said, we're going to go ahead and work on pretty much decorating this area and hopefully connecting this up. 
might be a good idea to just go ahead and do that. But I'm going to try something. I don't know if this will look good or not, but I'm hopeful. Now, since we're going to have grass kind of going through this area just a little bit, not a lot, but just a tad bit, I figured maybe we could add some stone spikes because on waterfalls, this is probably the most common thing people add, but it really looks good. It's just kind of little stone pieces that have been kind of, you know, forged out of the the movement of the water and just overall and throughout time kind of created this cool little design. I don't really know what shape I want to go for though. That's the only problem. And unfortunately, if I break blocks like I just did, I'm going to lose my stone. <laughs> but I've got some andesite here and I'm going to kind of mix that in. So let's go ahead and do that. Maybe I should plan beforehand before just placing, you know, the stone and then breaking it right away. <laughs> that might be a good idea. And uh, I think I'm going to add one right there in the back as well. And we'll just do a normal stone. You can also add stuff like uh, little half slabs to make it all look really cool. And I might do that, but not in this current state. So let's continue on with that. And I think that'll work for a design. I'm getting a phone call at the moment. <laughs> All right, and uh, anyways, <laughs> phone call aside, let's go ahead and continue on by maybe adding some uh, grass here and there. I just just kind of playing around with it at the moment to see how it will look. I don't know if it'll really be that cool right now, but I'm hopeful, and that's about all I can be. But I'm just gonna place it throughout the the waterfall, not really everywhere, but just kind of random placement here and there, and kind of make it. You know blend well I don't know if this will work at all I haven't tested this beforehand so this is kind of all just free placement and just trying and I'm not gonna go all the way up just in case it doesn't work but yeah all right uh, and then I really need some dirt just normal dirt so I'm gonna go grab that really quickly the dirt has been retrieved <laughs> so let's go ahead and kind of fill this in but yeah I'm not gonna go all the way up just because it might not work really well it might not look good at all and it might look terrible and instead of having to just tear it all down, I'd rather be able to just say I placed a little bit of it and just kind of reset. I think that'd probably be the better and smarter thing to do. That's kind of what we're going to go with. Now, a lot of this is probably going to be torn away whenever we connect the river up to the water. But I'm not really worried about it right now. Like I said, this is kind of just testing. And just before I continue, I want to get you guys to let me know what you think and just kind of give me your input. So... I guess we'll stop with that and then just kind of place some dirt here and there. So we'll do one there. And then I'm probably going to place coarse dirt there. So I'll just add that for now. And just kind of bring this on down. And I do want to add some more sand in the area. But like I said, I don't really have an idea yet. So this is all very rough. This might look terrible. It might work. It really could turn out, you know, in so many different ways. So that is probably going to do it for the dirt. And then uh, actually let's add one there. And then maybe bring that one block lower I do like that very much and then I'll add it kind of as we go up but after that we're gonna add in some coarse dirt in random areas so just kind of blend it all together I feel like the coarse dirt really blends the sand well I, I that might sound crazy it might not be true whatsoever and you might disagree with me but in my own personal opinion I think it looks pretty cool instead of you know just having a, a straight blend to grass and then sand just kind of mixing it in and uh, yeah that's gonna do it for that and then we're gonna get some leaves and kind of do the same thing now this is all very rough as I've said multiple times now it's just to kind of see how it would all play well together and I'm really hopeful that it looks good uh, but if it doesn't don't rip me to shreds in the comments just <laughs> let me know what I could do better and improve with it uh, that would be very helpful but I'll do that and kind of do the same thing on this side, just to bring it up a little bit, but not too much. And I think once it's all done, it should look a little bit better than it does currently. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to add one there, I think. And then the last step is going to be to go ahead and do the half slabs. But again, I've got to go grab those right quick. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to get some stone half slabs and maybe even some iron bars. The resources have been retrieved just like the grass before or whatever it was I got earlier. Coarse dirt, I think. Yeah. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now is pretty much add in... Where are my half slabs? I did not make the half slabs. I am a genius. It's okay, though. It's okay. We all kind of make mistakes here and there. <laughs> and I don't need too many. I'll just make 12. And now we're good. The resources have been retrieved, as I said. <laughs> 
And uh, yeah, so I'm a little worried about time. I'm going to try and work on this just in, in a moment. I'm going to at least show you guys what it looks like when it's all done. So don't worry too much. Let's go ahead and kind of start by adding in little random pieces of cobblestone slabs just on each of the sides. Not everywhere, but just little random places just to kind of give it some size. Then we're going to add some iron bars just all over it. And I am going to actually take that away and instead put a cobblestone wall. Then we're going to do the same on this side with the other resources. So just like that with a cobblestone thing on the wall. And that is pretty much going to do that. I think that looks very good. I think it all blends really well. And eventually I'll have to put some grass on there. Or some uh, tall grass. Is it already getting dark again? That's crazy. And I've obviously got to fix that up and kind of blend this a little bit better. But I think that's going to work. I want to know what you guys think about that. If I should just keep it normal, like sand and whatnot, let me know. But I think life could definitely grow down here. So maybe, you know, that's man-made and there was dirt placed there. But eventually, over time, grass grew and it's being taken care of. So I don't know. But I know it looks very cut right now and it looks very man-made. Uh, but don't worry. When you come back next time, it will be cleaned up. But let's go ahead and get this all moved over. And I think that is gonna do it for now. I think it looks pretty good. There's a lot of stuff that needs to be fixed up, like this right here. And just a lot of stuff that's a little bit smaller and gonna be hard to really pinpoint on video. And for the sake of time, I'm not gonna better show it all. But on the next episode, when you come back, there will be a little bit of changes. I'll, I'll definitely make sure this looks a lot better and clean it up. And I'll dress this nice little river up with some stuff. Uh, but yeah, I think this is going to work. I think it looks really good. And I guess before we really continue, though, with it, I definitely want to know what you guys think in the comments. Should we keep this little stream river thingy as well as the lake that will eventually be here? Or should I just kind of reset the world back to where it was and avoid having this in the first place? I think if we go in spectator mode here and look at the giant stream of you can only sleep at night messages and go in spectator mode and kind of look up here, I think this is going to be a good separator that really balances everything. Uh, you know, we have life kind of everywhere, and eventually I'm going to add some trees. Um, but we'll, we'll have life kind of here and there, whereas a lot of it's still the desert. Uh, but I think the water will definitely blend it all really well. And I am going to split it off to where it makes like two different streams and make it look a lot better. But that's the general style. I think it also smooths over really well. I definitely like this design. Um, I might clean it up a little bit, but overall, this is the shape we're working with. But yeah, so that's going to do it for this episode. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And I'd also like to know what you guys think of the Hermitcraft UHC. Have you been watching it? Have you been watching it? I am definitely excited to see what you guys think about it. I'm recording this a little early, obviously, so you guys haven't seen it yet. But hopefully, you know, you guys are responding to it well. Anyways, guys, my name has been System Z, and this has been the Minecraft Let's Play. Let me know what you think down below. I will see you guys in the next one.